Hello and welcome to another episode of Furry Views, or at least the start of something new, I suppose. Now, you probably can't see this, but there are um, little rectangles <laughs> around these buttons for some reason. Sometimes it just does that. I think it's because I hit the button for my fraps or something and then the rectangles show up, but I'm not sure nor do I care because whew, I've put a lot of time trying to get this to run correctly. Trust me. Uh, first of all, did you enjoy the intro? <laughs> because um, yeah, when I was like looking for some cool game to play for the channel, um, I decided to um, to look into this little gem and I don't mean it sarcastically, this might turn out to be a, good, a pretty good game but yeah I just booted this game up and the instance I uh, saw the intro cinematic and I use cinematic very loosely I thought to myself yep this is another one of those games and yeah we just we just have to play this and um, well you have to give um, some credit because at least they're not going with the, um, you know, the strong male stereotype. At least they're giving you something different. <laughs> at least you know now. At least you're uh, playing with a woman. It looks like, and um, yeah, for some reason um, she got her arms burned off by the magic or something, and to a heart ripped out. Of, that's seems very specific. Why wouldn't the magic burn anything else other than her arms? Her... F the front of her arms, to be even more specific. I mean, if, it, if the magic is that strong, wouldn't you think like the whole, her, her whole body would burn up or something? Or she would like turn into a skeleton completely or something? It's almost like the creators just made a really cool skeleton model for in for in game and they just randomly decided that uh, uh, oh uh, yeah a female lead character is pretty cool and then they worked the, they, they worked it into the story just <laughs> somehow you know it's it's pretty convoluted also she's staring into my soul right now <laughs> and oh yeah the, the 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 real complaint i do have about the intro cinematic is, well, first of all, Comic Sans. That's just <laughs> that's just a no go, especially for uh, a graphics designer uh, like myself. And second of all, I heard a Wilhelm scream in there somewhere when one of the guys blew up. And yeah, to be fully honest, I'm really not grasping the story much, so I'm just going in for the gameplay. This is running on the Quake 3 engine, so that's pretty promising. I mean, the Quake engines are all very robust and uh, they delivered some great games. And uh, um, I had a lot of, uh, I had a bit of trouble adjusting the brightness in this game because for some reason the game is really dark when you try to record it by uh, by default. So I tried uh, fidgeting around with the settings, only to find out that it doesn't really work. Uh, so I got to the internet. Luckily, some um, pretty obscure com um, uh, console command intended for Quake 3 <laughs> actually worked. So that that way, I managed to turn up the brightness. And when I tried to record the gameplay from that point on, I noticed something else. I couldn't record the intro cinematic, <laughs> which I so dearly wanted to record for you guys. So what I then did is went to the setup. Also, the music stopped. <laughs> oh, this 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 is such a gem. Uh, uh, anyway, I went to the setup and restored everything to the default settings. So all that fidgeting around with the brightness settings I just did was all for nothing because I had to restore it all to the default settings, which did give me the. Um, um, intro cinematic back because it's for some reason it just wouldn't show me the intro cinematic anymore after I first watched it so yeah this does that the, the intro cinematic is a one time only so yeah anyway enough talky talky yeah plenty to kill, plenty to kill. frustration level hmm although it's showing up like the the X and Y co coordinates 
I'm not sure what that's all about. I don't know if it shows up on screen or not, but sometimes stuff shows up on the screen, screen magically and sometimes it doesn't. Uh, uh, let's just play it. Uh, I'm gonna play on uh, plenty to kill or, or on uh, medium as we uh, common folk uh, call it because that's usually how we play things because Medium is usually the intended difficulty. Oh. Your mind speaking to you, tell you. You now possess the mysterious power of the spirit crystal. You now have the power to go forth and rid us of evil from this place. Mind you, it may come to place. <laughs> so yeah, as I was saying, uh <laughs> Normal difficulty is usually the, um, the the default setting from a designer's game designer's point of view. So that's why I always choose. So I already played this small little section. Don't worry, I haven't played that long into it. Just this first section because I had to test out my recording somehow. <laughs> also, we have a, a voice acting prodigy over here. <laughs> what the hell? What is this script that I am reading? Oh, that's some intense loading screen there. Holy crap. Holy crap. So yeah, this looks I don't very know why I'm here. I never asked for this power. You never asked for this power, then why did you take it? You 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 took the power yourself, didn't you? Didn't you like reach out for the guy and you know, grasp for the power. <laughs> well, I take it these are like power orbs for this this thing. So that's what it does. It shoots a little purple orb. Yeah, especially the skulls on the wall and stuff. That really reminds me of uh, Quake Free, which is okay. I did, I did like the design of it. Ooh. And the pentagrams also don't really. Uh, Farewell against that. So, let's climb up here. Oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. I was too late. Also, wait a minute. Oh, shit, shit. Oh, do I have. Oh, I don't have fall damage, I believe. Also, what's that water sound I'm hearing? I don't see any water down there. I'm going crazy. Uh, why am I asking all these questions? That is what you all must be wondering right now. So I did see a little blue thing back there. So let's try and do something with it. Nine more to go. Oh. Okay. This reminds me of Quake 1 all of a sudden. Because of the... You know... I'm just gonna head back by the way. S screw it. There we go. Ooh, barely, barely made it too. Oh. Oh shit, I got blocked somehow. Uh, so yeah, this is how far I got into my previous recording. So just, just for transparency's sake. Hmm. I think I'm gonna save it. Auto save. Oh, so I over... Oh. Uh, didn't seem like I could save on my own. Does this hurt me? I don't know. <laughs> Why do I have to go there? Here's a ledge. Oh, oh, I'm dead. Press attack to continue. Okay. I pressed attack. Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't think so. Uh-uh. Uh-uh-uh. Hmm. Wait, that's not what I here. that's not what yes, I saved. I never asked for this power. <laughs> that's not what I did. So wait. You only have the auto save. Is that it? Oh, I think it's one of those games. Oh, crap. Oh. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it that far. Is that if that's really the case? Come on. Shadow. Oh boy. Well, at least I'm glad I got to share that beautiful intro cinematic. Oh crap. Seriously. Oh, there we go. Only platform I can jump from. <laughs> now it has fall damage. Really? And you don't go any lower. <sighs> really now. Oh boy. I guess I can go for this thing. What did I get? Um, there's a thing. And it does absolutely nothing. And that also does absolutely nothing. Good. So I really have to jump, no, 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 I have to go here, go up again, you fucking, oh god, wow, F from the looks of this game, I really didn't think there would be this much platforming, <laughs> oh, you're shitting me, I fucking missed it, <laughs> uh, go back, so I'm floating somehow, but that's, that's totally legit. Because this is quick free engine and everything is possible. Oh boy. That's oh, okay. Don't tell me it closes again. I'm just gonna wait it out. See if it closes. It does close. Oh god. Just <laughs> I'm just trying to plan out uh, how I should go. Ugh. Hmm. Did you see that? That was just like a split second of time I had. Oh boy. Shield shot. 
Okay. Hmm. Okay. But if I have to believe like the intro cinematic, then she has like white eyes. Is that like an elevator? Oh, hi. Oh, shit. <laughs> I like how it skips the, um, the firing animation when you like... Um, when you fire repeatedly. Decoration, okay. Is this supposed to be a trap? Because it's a really bad one, if that's the case. Oh boy. Do I have to? Press them in order or something. Oh. Maybe I just need to go somewhere else then. Fine. Oh, I'm stuck. Ugh. Oh boy. Is it gonna start me all over again? Yes, it is. Okay, we're not gonna do that. Because <laughs> I'm absolutely sick of doing that uh, already. So, I'm gonna try and look if there and see if there's like a console command for that for saving because they obviously don't want me to save say seeing that there is an auto save right here let's make an auto a safe I don't know cookie. why I'm here I never asked for this power uh, wait a minute so now I saved Oh, I pressed leave level. <laughs> oh god. No, I want to load poopy. Let's see what it does. <laughs> nope. It just does not want me to save manually. Okay, so screw this. I'm already sick of it. Um. I'm gonna try and look for a way to manually save. I know some games have it. I, I know like the old uh, Half-Life games have it. Not sure if the Quake engine is the same. But if it doesn't, I'm probably gonna call it quits because I really don't wanna play this. Uh, if I have to keep uh, coming back to the start of this... Uh, of this, this first puzzle. Uh, Okay, so see you guys later.